What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got 10 brand new tweaks to share with you guys in my latest top 10 tweaks video. Now this is part nine, and a lot of these have been updated from iOS 7, older firmwares, to work on iOS 8, and some of these are new. And there's actually a couple I really like in these, and I'm sure you guys will as well. So anyways, these do work with the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and most of these are iPad compatible. Now before, I must warn you, not all of these can be found in Cydia just by searching. You guys will need to add one or two custom sources. So you want to click right there to get the article with all of the sources you need, the full list of tweaks I use here, and I'll even show you guys a few bonus ones in there as well. So make sure to click there to get all of that information. And then of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken in order to install these. So you guys will need a jailbreak if you do want to install any of these on your device because it is awesome to jailbreak. There's so much you can do. Sadly, a lot of these are paid but there are a few free ones in here as well. And if you guys want to check out my top 50 free tweaks, I have that right there. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out the latest top 10 tweaks in my part nine video. All right, so the very first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called switchability. Now switchability takes that extra space not used by reachability and adds an app switcher into it. So it's really cool. And now it doesn't fully replace your app switcher. However, it is nice to have. It's a nice, very cool looking way to switch between apps using your reachability feature. So the view inside of individual applications is a little bit different when you do enable it. You now have this little X and plus icons right here. So now between the 3D view, you can choose the standard one and I'll show you that in a sec, but you do have this plus icon which you can make a favorite. So when you click on it, it takes you right to your favorite. And for me, that's messages. As you can see, it just took me straight away right there. Now let me go ahead and enable the flat view just to show you guys. All right, so here's the standard. And now when we do that, it's just a standard view you know, view. Now it does take a little while to go through all of them. So I see the 3D one being a little bit more useful. However, it's still in very early development. However, it is stable. So don't worry about it crashing or anything. It, it works good. But honestly, the best reachability tweak there is, is reach app. And that thing is one where you can multitask using two apps. So, you know, for each their own, but I do really like this tweak. Now, next up is Confero. Confero takes all of your notifications on your device and puts them into one place. Now this is for any application that has an app badge. A cool setting you can enable on it is to remove them from your device. I find it really annoying, especially for ones that I can't remove. If you guys have ever seen my videos, I have usually a little red icon on my Apple and that's just because a T-Mobile SIM card does that. It's a little bug and it never really goes away. Well, with this tweak, it takes any application notification and puts them all in one place just by tapping this little icon right there. And then you have all of your tweaks right there. So you can clear all of them just by tapping on one of them and it'll clear all of the badges as you can see that's what i was saying i mean it never goes away it's really annoying but it does clean up the look of ios 8 you no longer have all this clutter you know those little red app badges and i find them highly distracting so it is really nice to clear all of them and have the ability to hide them now you can choose the ability to keep all of your little red icon badges and still be able to see them all in one place but i think it's a lot better not being able to see them on your springboard and then if you want to clear it just swipe down and select okay Okay, it'll go ahead and clear all of those guys and you no longer have any more. Next up is Repower. Now this is a very great alternative to Power Tap, a tweak that I did show you earlier. Anyways, when you go ahead and activate your power down feature, you now have three sliders instead of one. One is to power off as you usually would, one is to reboot and one is to respring. Now you don't have to have three right here, but it is nice to see all those right there. You know, Power Tap, you just tap it. So this is a little bit more visual so you can see all of them for yourself, but inside of settings all you have is just the ability to turn it on and off so it's a really simple little tweak however it adds a nice choice of functionality to ios 8 where you can choose either to power down reboot your device or respring it so next up is record and torch now this is such a small little tweak however it's personally one of my favorites it's funny to me that the ability to zoom even inside a video after recording wasn't added until i was seven i believe so this basically what this tweak does is it gives you the ability to enable flash after pressing record so you don't have to interrupt your video by stopping it and then enabling flash and then recording because you never know you may be recording something for a while and suddenly you need some light well all you do is tap that and mid video while recording you can enable it so really cool don't be surprised if you see this in the latest version of iOS 9 this is one of those go figure things that I can't believe Apple hasn't even added yet but record and torch is definitely a must-have I totally would recommend it all right and the next tweak is called clap man this 
thing has the potential to save your ass many times. Anyways, so how it works is it pretty much tells you where your iPhone is with a sound when you activate it with a clap. I don't know about you guys, but personally, sometimes I misplace my iPhone. Even within feet of where I'm sitting in my car, maybe it'll roll between my seat. So this tweak pretty much gives you the ability to locate it very quickly without having to sign in to find my iPhone and activating the sound. All you have to do is clap. And I'm gonna do that behind my camera. It's kind of hard to do in front, so. And as you can see, it went ahead and activated a sound. And you can choose that sound. You can choose a lot of settings. I'll show you them in a second, but let me do it again real quick. Cool. So you can choose the intensity, the sound that you have to produce in order for it to activate, but inside of the settings in here, you can choose to have it enabled when your device is charging, when it's playing music, here's the trigger value. So this is the amount of sound you need to produce in order for it to activate. Now, personally for me, 600 is the sweet spot because at 850, which is the default value, it's a little too high. Now 600 is good, but I do encourage you to play around with the settings, see what is good for you. And here's the alarm volume. So guys, this is is an invaluable tweak. This is one of those that comes around and it just makes me go, wow, why didn't anyone think of that before? So I definitely recommend clap. Easily locate your iPhone when you misplaced it. If you're like me, you misplace it all the time. This is incredibly useful. Now here's smart tap. It's a feature ripped straight from Android for activating your display when your device is off just by tapping on the screen. And that's the beauty of iOS jailbreaking. You can bring over features from any OS on a locked platform and enjoy all of it. Anyways, so let me go ahead and lock my device and all you have to do to activate it is just double tap on the screen and there you go. Now, unfortunately, this probably has the potential to make your battery life a little bit worse because it does keep the digitizer activated, but it is a really neat feature to have. Just double tap to activate, double tap to lock. I mean, if you're too lazy to use your power button or if you want a cool way of activating your screen, this is really neat. Next, here's True Eye Radio. Now this unlocks the full potential of your iTunes radio inside of your music application. So let me give you a few things that it can do. You can scrub through music, you can skip unlimited times and it does improve the loading times. So let me go ahead and give you an example of this. Let me turn my volume down. Anyways, so let me go ahead and skip past the amount of times that you are allowed to do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can keep skipping and it's amazing because you can scrub through it too. Now, personally scrubbing for me has been a hit and miss. I mean, sometimes it works for some songs, sometimes it doesn't, but I can skip unlimited times and the actual loading times are a lot better. So this is true iRadio and I would totally recommend. I mean, why not unleash the full potential of your iTunes radio? Now it does remove ads. So that's the one thing I kind of don't condone for this because it does take away profits from Apple for providing you a free music service. But as for the free skips, that's, I mean, I love that. Anyways, guys, that's True Eye Radio, and it's a very useful tweak. All right, now the next one is called Video Pane, and it was introduced in iOS 7 and recently updated for iOS 8. This is my favorite tweak out of all of these that I will be showing you. So, you know, let's go ahead and open up a video. It could be in YouTube, inside of your videos. Play this video right here, and you get this mini video. Now close out of that, and you can move this guy around anywhere you want. So this is another feature taken straight from Android. However, I can't complain. That is amazing, simply amazing. You can multitask, do whatever you want. I mean, switch between apps. You can literally do anything while still maintaining contact with that video. Now that's not just limited to YouTube, that's through any video producing application. And cool, I mean, you can text message, you can literally do anything while watching video. And it's so cool. Now, if you want to maximize it, you can just do that right here. And inside of any video, when you're inside, just click on that little guy right there, and it'll minimize it. So you can move it around anywhere. Super cool, man. This is one of those tweaks that I absolutely love. So guys definitely would recommend this. It's called Video Pane, and it works flawlessly on iOS 8. Now here's Forecast. Forecast is very similar to Weatherboard. However, it is much more stable. So basically this, you know, it takes the local weather of where you're at and puts it as a backdrop in between your background or your lock screen. Now the only thing that I like Weatherboard more than this is that it actually allows you to keep your background. This does overlay it with your current weather completely. 
Now, it is a lot more stable though, and it does not drain your battery life very much at all. So it is very nice and you can configure it to any area, of course. So very nice, just a simple little tweak that overlays your weather of where you're currently at on your lock screen and your home screen, if you so choose. Now, you guys may have noticed that I don't actually have a battery icon right up there in the top right. I just have a percentage. Now, the way I do that is with Hide Me 8. Hide Me 8 is actually a really extensive tweak that allows you to hide any aspect of iOS 8 that you dislike or just don't want. So that ranges from the status bar to your control center to your notification center. You can do so much with it. Let me just give you an example and let me show you uh, up here in the status bar what you can modify. So here's a lot. You can choose which icons you want to show up, which ones you don't. And there's so much to list here. However, it is very extensive and it's such a light tweak that you, know, you won't notice any difference in performance. So anyways, hide features you don't want, add features that you do in certain locations, really cool, called Hide Me 8 for iOS 8. And there you go, so that's my top 10 tweaks part nine video. I do hope you enjoyed these. Some of my favorites were video pane, record and torch, and clap. I find those extremely useful. And I think that some of those should have been implemented in iOS. I mean, I would not be surprised if in iOS 9, Apple took a whole bunch of the jailbreak tweaks that we use and implemented them and called them their own ideas. I mean, they're so used to doing that already. Ready, but anyways, enjoy the tweaks, guys. Check out many more of my videos. I have so many videos on tweaks and jailbreak things, so be sure to check out all of that and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get a lot of videos up this year because I know there's just too much to post, so I'm trying to get out as much as possible. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Enjoy all of these. Peace.